Hi, I'm Jane. I'd like to tell you about PCF and what we do. The Philippine Community Fund, or PCF, was registered in 2002 and it was to help children and families who are living in dire poverty. Children as young as three years of age uh, needed to look for pieces of plastic and metal to sell in the recycling industry. And families are living in makeshift shanties made out of second-hand pieces of wood. There's no running water, no sanitation, and often not even a safe electrical connection. Children quickly learn at a young age that life here is all about survival. Little point, really, of dreaming of a different life. PCF started its first school just 10 minutes away from this dump site in a dirty, derelict warehouse. But in 2010, we built a brand new school made out of recycled shipping container vans. And that has 800 students in its education programs, uh, which benefits around about 4,500 family members. PCF educates children for seven hours a day, feeds breakfast and lunch. They earn food rewards for academic achievements and school attendance and this is sufficient reason to keep them off the dump site and keep them in school. We developed a holistic approach to our work where we embrace both the physical and the spiritual needs. Our education programs are underpinned with a strong emphasis on values and the emotional and psychological development. Our feeding programs and our nutrition programs are enabling children and families to live healthier and longer lives. And our income generation projects are enabling parents to earn a sustainable income through an alternative livelihood. Our goals are enrolment to employment and we're just getting the first batch of students from college and university uh, and they're gaining jobs and this is enabling them to break the cycle of poverty not just for themselves but for their families as well. I'm a social worker in PCF and my job is to support the students and their families by working closely with the teachers and the healthcare departments. One of our students, Jessa, she used to be a waste picker in the dump site but when she was seven years old, she enrolled in PCF school. Jessa started ballet as an after-school activity that she really enjoys. None of us realized how natural she was, but in just five years, she's now performing in the most prestigious ballet company in Manila, performing regularly in the big stage and internationally. What I like best at PCF is studying and activities we do in school. If I'm not in PCF, I will be working in the dump site with my family. We are, of course, very proud of success stories like Jess's, but the reality for most of the children coming to the PCF school is really somewhat different. Daily food shortages underpin the experience of families living within dump site communities, and for most, education is not even an option. Even for the children who attend PCF, they feel the need to contribute towards the family's income and therefore working after school is not uncommon. PCF recognises this vulnerability and provides weekly food parcels for the children based on their attendance. We also have extracurricular classes to help the children develop their interests and also keep them away from the dump sites where they may be forced to work. Wincy has been with PCF now for five years, however three years ago his parents could no longer work and Wincy started collecting waste after school. Currently, Wincy earns 100 pesos a day. That's just over a pound or two dollars. And even though that is supplemented with the food parcels given by PCF, there are many occasions when Wincy and his family still go hungry. Wincy is a member of the PCF choir. He loves to sing. And on many occasions, he and the choir have performed at international schools and at corporate events around Manila. And despite all of the hardships and the difficulties he faces, Wincy is still very optimistic. Nagbago po ang buhay ko dahil sa PCF. Dito na rin po ako natutong kumanta at dito po ako binigyan ng tulong sa akin pag-aaral at pati na rin po sa akin pamilya. Wincy lives in the main dump site adjacent to Manila's commercial port but we also help other children in other squatter areas such as the cemetery in nearby Novartis. I'm here now in Novartis Cemetery, home for over 4,000 families that are living among the tombs of the dead. These families has no means of livelihood, other than fishing in an over-polluted water 
or scavenging among their own waste. PCF transports more than 100 students every day from Navoda Cemetery going to PCF Container School. These children are among the least privileged students that without through PCF's help would have least chances of survival. One of our students, Kyla May, who is 12 years old but looked much younger than her age because of malnutrition that stunted her growth and affected severely her health. Kyla May was born with pneumonia and suffered a lot of life-threatening illnesses. Her father died in prison and when her mother remarried, she was abandoned and now she's living with her grandmother that is aged and living in a broken down shanty. Her grandmother sends her to sell ice cream because she's unable to work. <laughs> Kyla May is 12 years old and even with her recurring life-threatening illnesses, she is still motivated and determined to finish her education. <laughs> Pag-aaral ay gusto po maging tita para po yung mga bata na hindi po maranong magsulat at magbasa para din po maabot din po ang kanilang, kanilang pangarap. At, at ang gusto ko naman po ay, tutul ay tulungan ko po si nanay para po pag ginawa na po yung aming bahay ay tutulungan ko po sa sa pag-aayos ng aming bahay. Hinang po. If you want to become more involved with PCF, there are many ways that you can help. Donate to our regular program through single donations or regular giving. Take part in a fundraising event. Sponsor a child or become a PCF advocate. Or network PCF to a corporation, your rotary club or church. Our children deserve a better future. Please help give them their hopes and their dreams.